Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're going to restore a GameCube controller. And this isn't any GameCube controller, this one is like really ratty. I got it for 15 bucks off eBay. So let's figure out how to restore it. And trust me, you're going to want to stick around to the end, because not only are we going to do some really cool mods of this thing and restoration, but I'm also going to give one away. So you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end. So the first thing here that's pretty obvious, as you can kind of see, is that uh, the joystick on the left side is just completely trash. I mean, it's ruined. It doesn't work right. So we're going to rip this thing apart with a uh, tri-wing screwdriver, and let's go ahead and get in there. So what we're going to do first is remove the broken joystick box here, and I'm just going to use some, you know, very simple solder wick, important to use quality solder wick, and a little bit of flux to go ahead and get all that off. Uh, the one thing I would probably note here is you're going to see a lot of third party ones on Amazon and the like, and that's actually what I'm going to use here. And I can tell you right now that's probably a mistake. What I would actually do if it's available to you, which unfortunately it was not for me at this time, is a actual another original GameCube joystick if you can find one which is the key. If not, you're stuck with the ones from something like Amazon, which, trust me, they work fine, but they are definitely more stiff compared to the OEM uh, stick boxes that would have come with a Gabe controller. Soldering the new joystick on is easy peasy. Just use a little bit of flux and uh, solder it right in. No big deal at all. So using some flux, solder wick, and the soldering iron, I'm going to go ahead and desolder the actual cable from the controller board itself. And why we're going to do that? Well, you'll see in a minute. And fuck you. So I can't stress enough, when you want to remove the connector off the back of this, the trick is to use really, really low heat. I'm only using 275 degrees Fahrenheit on my soldering station to go ahead and my hotter rework station to remove that. If you go too hot, you're going to melt that thing and you're not going to be happy with yourself. Next I'm going to clean all the pads and the controller itself with some isopropyl alcohol. All I have is 99% on hand, but uh, lesser grades do work just as well, if not better. So I'm stripping back all the rubber coating that covers the actual cable itself, and we'll get into why I'm doing this a little bit later, but uh, yeah, I'm using a craft knife to do it. It's kind of a tedious process, but it goes pretty quick.
So like many of you guys, I'm sure you spend way too much time on eBay. I spend way too much time on eBay. And one of the things I noticed is you can now get GameCube controller buttons extremely cheap. And not only are they pretty cheap, but they're pretty decent too. So let's order up a few uh, packs of these and let's see how they look on the controller. I opted for a set of white buttons and uh, you'll see why a little bit later because it's going to match my entire setup really nicely. But anyway, let's get these things installed. It's extremely easy to do. Just drop them right in. So remember all that uh, cable we stripped back before? Let's go ahead and sleeve this thing. I really, really like this purple and white combo that I've got over here. And uh, so let's go ahead and sleeve the cable in that. But uh, here's the reality. You guys don't have time to he sit here and watch uh, me sleeve this entire thing. It takes too long. So with movie magic, it's done. So in order to get this thing sleeved properly, there were two things that I had to do. One, I had to clip off the connectors and the end of the cable that go back into the controller. That's no big deal, I can resolder those in with ease. And two, in order to get it on this piece of paracord, I had to strip off the shielding. Now, I normally wouldn't have done those things, but I couldn't figure out how else to do it. So um, if someone else could, you know, who knows a little bit more about this could comment in the comments on how exactly they would go about doing that, I would absolutely love to know. Um, because while the method that I did actually worked and it worked just fine, I'm sure better methods exist to do this. Okay, with all the hard stuff done, just time to reassemble and do some testing. Now there's going to be two things you notice here. One, I left the Z button as it originally is, and two, I left the L and R buttons the same. I just didn't really feel like changing the L and R buttons. Obviously, you, you could do that. Um, and the Z button I didn't change because uh, according to one of the reviews, which I will link in the description that I saw of these buttons, the Z button doesn't work very well and they always recommend leaving the original. So I did so. Overall, this thing turned out absolutely fantastic, and I'm super happy with it. But I said there's going to be a giveaway, so let's get into it. So the other day, this email shows up. 500 subscribers. It's pretty cool. So guys, I think we need to give something away. So for this giveaway, I made this. This is a really nice black GameCube controller with white buttons black and white paracord cable it is sweet all original inside everything ready to go so with that being said we're going to give it away and all you need to do to enter is like comment and subscribe and what i'd like for you to comment on is i need you guys to tell me if you'd be interested in shorter form videos something sub five minutes but that's it for me guys with that being said thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys around for the next one